All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass Windows 10 and 11 login security. So we've got a machine here running Windows 11 and it has a login password. And we don't know the password. Um, if I leave it blank, it's not going to work. If I have anything, it's going to work. And um, we want to get into the machine, all right? So how do we bypass this uh, login screen? Well, I can explain it to you in theory. In theory, we need to launch the command prompt in administrator mode. And then using the command prompt, we're gonna use um, an account tool there to reset the password. Now we've got a couple problems here. The first problem is that we have to launch the command prompt in administrator mode, and we are not logged in yet. Uh, the second problem is that there is no easy way that I know of to launch the command prompt from the login menu. Uh, usually during installation, you can press Shift F10, but this won't work here. Control or Delete won't work in here. So how do we go about that? So what we're gonna do here is, you know this accessibility widget right there. If you Make click on it, to launch a program use. that uses a really horrible text to speech that's supposed to help you with accessibility. Now, that's not the important part. What's really important is it launches this in administrator mode. In theory, what we're going to do, we're going to replace the accessibility program with the command prompt. Since Windows launches the accessibility program in administrator mode, so then when we click on the icon, it will launch the command prompt in administrator mode. So how do we do that? Well, first, we're going to have to boot into recovery mode. So you hold Shift on your keyboard, click on the power and click reset. I'm gonna give it a second. All right, now we are in the recovery mode. From here, you go to troubleshoot, advanced option, and command prompt. All right, so this does launch a command prompt, but it launches it from the recovery drive. It, what we need to do is navigate to the actual drive. Windows installation in most instances is gonna be on the C drive. So we're gonna navigate to there. And then um, from the C drive, we wanna go to Windows and System32. In this directory, what you're gonna find, you're gonna find both the command prompt and the accessibility uh, utility. Now the first question is gonna to come to your mind. Since now we are in the command prompt and now we are in administrator mode, can't we just change the password from here? Well, no you can't, and I'll go ahead and show you. So now we if you type in control, user passwords. Uh, first of all, I was gonna say that you cannot find it. And the reason is that you cannot find it, this com command uh, prompt is like running from the recovery drive, not from the Windows itself. Um, we can, in theory, run command prompt from Windows. If I type cmd.exe, it will launch it. But then, if you try to run the program itself, the user account management program, then it won't give you the rights to receive the password. So the way we go about that is, as I said earlier, we replace the accessibility utility with the command prompt, since the accessibility utility is launched in administrator mode anyways. So how do we do that? So the name for that tool is utilman.exe. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename it to something else. So we're going to keep it as a backup. So the command for that is going to be ren, stands for rename, and then utilman.exe. I'm going to rename this to utilman1 utilman1.exe All right, now that's done. So now that we've renamed utilman to utilman1, what we're gonna do is make a copy of the command prompt and name the copy utilman. So the way to do that is write copy cmd.exe and then the new file name. So this is gonna be utilman.exe press enter. So now what this have done is copy the cmd command, rename it to utilman, and place it in the same original place as the uh, you know, original accessibility uh, tool. So now that's done, we can just exit, exit, continue to Windows. All right, now we're back on the screen. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on the accessibility tool, and it's gonna launch the command prompt. So now we can type in control, user passwords to and press enter this will show you all the user accounts that are made on this pc whether they're an online account offline account admin accounts they're all going to show up in there so now to change the password i just click reset password and if i just want to remove the password completely i can just leave it empty and click ok so now if i just press next it just works and here we go we're cracking into the system. It literally took us only like two minutes. We basically reset the administrator account password. Now there is one limitation to this is if you have an online account that's synced with an online password, 
there is a good chance that it won't let you reset it unless you know you reset the online account itself for example if you have a microsoft account and you log in using that microsoft account then it will ask you to reset the password online let's say that you cannot do that and you don't have access to that microsoft account what are you going to do in this case um, you're going to use the same utility and make a new administrator account and then using the new administrator account you're going to access your old files because let's face it 99 percent of the people don't encrypt their files so you're going to be able to access all the files using a new administrator account actually i can show you that all right now let's pretend this is a microsoft online account the only way to reset this account's password will be to visit Microsoft's website and reset it from there. And let's say that you don't have access to that. So what are you going to do in this situation? We're going to start by launching the command prompt again, which by clicking on the accessibility uh, utility. And then we're going to start by adding a new user. So the command for that is going to be net user add and then the username. And I'm right, gonna name this test, and then the password, um, which I believe will like leave it empty. So let's try this. All right. So now we add a new user. Now we're gonna give this user administrative privileges, and the way to do that is to write net local group administrators, and then the new user that we created, which can be named test, and then forward slash add. Just enter. And this command completes successfully. So now we should have another user. So now to check that, I'm going to go to control, user, passwords, two. And indeed, we see two users. And this guy is the administrators group. So what we can do now is simply restart and it will show us two accounts. All right, now we got the test user right here. We can click on the test user. It will bring us right to Windows with the administration privileges. And we are right into Windows. So it doesn't matter at this point if the other account is locked. Because I have administrative privileges, I can just go to users and I can see this is the previous user. And even if his account was basically online locked, so you can't really change the password unless you go to the Microsoft website, you can still access his data because you have administrative privileges. And you can basically, at this point, you can just go in and grab any data you want. And you can move all the data from the previous user to the new user and delete the previous user account. And that's really all there is to it. All you got to do is change the accessibility utility to the command prompt. Windows doesn't check the signature of the file and does not hash the file. So it cannot tell if you replace the accessibility utility with a command prompt. Now, what does this mean in terms of Windows security? Is this a horrible exploit or is this a feature? Now, I will say this is more like a convenience exploit, right? Because this does not really bring anything that you cannot do already. Because of like 99% of the people don't really encrypt their files or don't even encrypt their drives. Even if this exploit did not exist, you can just boot from an operating system on a USB drive and then do whatever you want to do with the files because they are not encrypted. So this is not really that big of a security concern. Regardless if they patch this or don't, it doesn't really matter that much. As long as the files are unencrypted, anyone with direct access to the computer can view these files, even if your computer is password protected. So this exploit does not really bring anything new, nothing that you can't do already. It's just more convenient to do it this way because you don't need to boot from a different drive. You can just do it within Windows. No any tools needed, no any flash drives needed. Now this will be especially useful to you if you're working in a repair shop because so many times customers will bring in their PCs, laptops or phones asking for a repair and their password locks. So you can't pretty much test or debug anything on it unless you know you unlock the PC. I saw a lot of normies when I was working uh, who will like try to like boot the machine off a different drive or they will have Windows installed on another hard drive and they swap the hard drive to debug the machine. Or um, they will, some, some of them, believe it or not, they will even try to call the customer asking for their password. And all you really need to do is use this utility, add a new user, debug the machine, make sure that everything's working fine, and then remove the new user and its data after you're done. And this can be really handy in this specific scenario. I hope Microsoft does not fix this because it's kind of like handy sometimes 
if you if you forget the password or if you're trying to repair a customer's computer and it's password locked other than that then you know hopefully this uh, video was informative and useful to you hopefully you have fun watching i'm gonna peace out and i hope you have a wonderful day